Hello and welcome to another episode of Expert Interviews, where the Construction Week team at ITP Media Group speaks to experts about the latest trends shaping the construction industry, as well as the top construction projects in the region. Joining us today is Kareem Sharma, the Chief Development Officer at the Kidia Investment Company, overseeing the construction of one of Saudi Arabia's largest giga projects. Could you share your insights into what you envision this project to be once complete? Sure. Um, Kadia, uh, by nature and design, is an innovative and pioneering project, and therefore it's associated with uniqueness and that wow factor. We differ from the other Giga projects, uh, but we share the common goal of being catalysts in the diversification of the kingdom's economy, um, making it more robust and varied while supporting Vision 2030. Kadir's vision is to create a, a new city recognized on the world stage as the home of the most innovative and disruptive experiences in entertainment, sports, and the arts. Now, as a project, we are located across a 200 meter high escarpment to the west of Riyadh. Kadir is going to present itself in a number of unique development nodes, and these are essentially suggested by this unique and stunning topography. In the lower plateau, uh, the resort core is going to be home to many of Kadia's theme parks and entertainment attractions, including Six Flags Kadia, a speed park, a water themed park, and all of these are arranged around the central retail dining and entertainment spine. Now, perched on the edge of the upper plateau and overlooking these theme parks below, the city center is going to be a, a very vibrant mixed use village that's going to include the city's major sports and arts venues as well as a creative village quarter that uh, will be home to companies operating in the sports and arts and other creative realms. The motion zone in the lower plateau is going to contain a wide range of adrenaline fueled high speed experiences. This is gonna be uh, the, ult the ultimate playground for high performance motion uh, on both two and four wheels. Uh, now, our private and exclusive golf community is going to include uh, an 18 uh, hole championship golf course uh, offering amazing panoramic vistas with uh, a whole array of residential offerings, in addition to luxurious golf and spa resorts and equestrian facilities. In our eco zone, the focus is going to be on all things outdoor, um, luxury tented resorts to extreme sports, animal encounters to nature trails and rambles. Most recently, we heard that mass grading works were beginning and progressing at the heart of Kidia, the resort core. Could you share details on what construction has begun on the Giga project and what has been planned for 2020 and 2021? Sure. I mean, uh, 2020 it, uh, started out of Kadir awarding two key contracts to Saudi companies. The first was awarded to Abdul Ali Lajmi company to begin the site preparation and mass grading for the development of two of our anchor development zones, as you mentioned, the resort core and also the city center. Mm -hmm. um, this should take around 12 months. Uh, it will include the sculpting of about 7 million cubic meters of earth to, to make sure the site preparation um, uh, is ready on a combined area of, of more than 4 million square meters. Um, it will require more than 500 pieces of major earth moving equipment to grade and develop the plots, um, as well as 4,000 tons of steel, 30,000 cubic meters of concrete for our stormwater management, really to prepare the area for the next stages of development. The second contract for 2020 was awarded to Saudi Pan Kingdom, SAPAC, to develop secured access around the entire premises of Kadia. So as part of this scope, they're going to install 20 kilometers of chain link fence uh, and 23 kilometers of low height tension cable barriers. This is um, a first step to securing the site and it will allow the, um, the commencement of multiple construction projects scheduled to begin this year. It will enable developers to bring in their heavy construction equipment needed for these next phases of the development. Now, um, you asked about the, the, the following years. Looking forward, we're aiming to award two major road contracts, one each for the upper and the lower plateaus to local companies again in the next few weeks and months, as well as some uh, major bridge contracts. Um, but our focus at the moment is really on completing the mass grading and the site preparation. The region is also known for its unique design and architectural marvels that intend to highlight the modern nuances while also upholding 
the heritage of the past in a way and maintaining the natural beauty of its surroundings. From a design and architectural perspective, what will make Kidia stand out? So our master plan has been really carefully crafted to respect and enhance the site's natural patterns and uh, allowing the kind of this breathtaking beauty of the landscape to, to take the center stage. Mm -hmm. So in order to create an innovative environment that, that marries these stunning natural vistas with kind of latest technological experiences, Kadia is, is built on an open space network that's, that's informed by this natural flow of the water creating a really, truly unique destination. Another defining feature is that Kadir will become the kingdom's capital of sports, entertainment, and the arts. So we'll therefore have this largest collection of, of world-class facilities mm -hmm. uh, in the region. But from an architectural perspective, all our assets will display a kind of Kadir golden thread, a common Kadir look and feel. All of our assets are gonna be designed to make sure they're uniquely Saudi. So for example, the Six Flags Kadir we're creating um, we, we, we're, we're building a theme park that delivers all the thrills and excitement that uh, audiences from all over the world have come to expect from the Six Flags brand. But we will elevate those experiences with authentic themes and touches connected to our unique location. The rides and attractions found in each land within Six Flags have been designed exclusively for Kadia. Some will be record breaking, but all of them will be steeped in this rich culture and history of the kingdom. So some examples, for example, the Citadel uh, is the central hub of the, of the Six Flags Park. It's covered by a billowing canopy form that's been inspired by traditional Bedouin tents. The City of Thrills is the embodiment of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030, this forward-looking, boundary-pushing future city anchored in Arabic design motifs. Mm -hmm. Discovery Springs, for example, reflects Kadir's unique timeless relationship between the desert and the sea as its collection of rides and experiences. It plays with the elements of earth and water. You know, Valley of Fortune is an, it's a very exciting land of adventure. It takes place amidst time-worn architectural ruins of old Arabian masonry and enlivened by the activity and trade of fortune seekers from around the world. So we have this incredible mix of rides and attractions throughout six unique lands Six Flags Kadir is, is really set to become the theme park that breaks all records for family fun and entertainment in, in the kingdom. Thank you, Kareem, for sharing your insights. It was extremely informative. For those of you watching, feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment below for more such interviews with experts within the industry. That's all for now, and until next time, goodbye.